Hello booktube and welcome to the second video of my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing my favorite books or at least the favorite books that I actually own physical copies of. I have nine books and then a honorable mention and it's actually technically two graphic novels but that's the tenth and so yeah let's get started. The first book that I'm going to discuss is my all-time favorite and it is Looking for Alaska by John Green. I know, I know, I know, I know, John Green, it can be very controversial. A lot of people discredit fans of his. I'm gonna admit that I know he can be problematic, depending on your point of view, but Looking for Alaska has just always been a book that I love. It's always been a constant for me, and it just means so much to me. I've read it more times than I can count, and my copy autographed. I met John Green at the National Book Festival in DC a couple years ago and that was really cool. I think everybody there was getting the Fault in Our Stars signed because it had just come out but I was like no I need to get my favorite book signed and I did and it's like my prized possession. I love Miles's point of view. He's a really interesting main character. I don't really like per se the manic pixie dream girl thing. Looking for Alaska has got me through a lot of stuff so I can't discount it at this point. The second book I'm going to discuss is Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. If you are on Tumblr at all, you've probably seen some of the Hyperbole and a Half comics. It's just really funny. It's really cute. It's well done. I really like it because she talks about depression and she just talks about her life and I really like the way it's done. The next book that I'm going to discuss is Arcadia by Lauren Groff. I actually got this book through either Book Depository or A Books because I'd read it a couple years ago and I just fell in love with the story and the style. It's about hippies on a commune back in the day. And it's just a really interesting book and it's not like a lot of other books that I've read, which I really appreciated. The next book is definitely one of the most important books I've ever read. It's We All Fall Down by Nick Shep. This book I actually got on clearance at Borders when Borders was closing in my town. And I just kind of grabbed it because I was like, eh, looks interesting enough. And this is actually the book that inspired me to major in substance abuse psychology. I am now a senior at an online university and I'll be done within the next year with my degree. If it wasn't for this book, I don't know that I would have chosen the path that I'm on now. All my thanks to Nick Schuff for writing this book. It's a memoir about his journey through rehab for meth addiction. And he has another book that was also a bestseller called Tweak. That's about his addiction to meth. But We All Fall Down stood out a lot to me because of the recovery aspect. It's definitely something I would recommend. The next book is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Rowell, I don't know how you pronounce her last name. Everybody on Tumblr that I've come across doesn't really like attachments. They all flock to Fangirl or Eleanor and Park. I honestly didn't like either of those books and those are more YA. I just prefer attachments. I think it's cute, it's sweet, it's funny. It's just everything I like in a book and the characters are really magnetic. I thought I would try attachments like especially if you've read Eleanor and Park or Fangirl and you liked them, definitely try attachments too because I don't think you'd be disappointed. The next book is The Little Prince. I'm not going to try pronouncing the author's name because it's French and I don't speak French. I had to read The Little Prince in high school. It was so cute. It's so sweet. I just really, really fell in love with it. The illustrations are adorable. Just definitely recommend it if you just want something cute and light and carefree, but it also does hold some meaning. The next book is When It Happens by Suzanne Colasanti, who I also hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I've loved it for many, many years. It's about Sarah and Toby, who are two high schoolers who hit it off. As you can probably imagine, they fall for each other, and it's very sweet, and it's very cute, and there's drama, but it's perfectly fluffy drama. It's just a feel-good favorite for me. Whenever I'm feeling bad, I can just kind of flip open to this book. It'll just bring me back to a good place. The next book is The Diary of Anne Frank, which you might be surprised that I have in my favorites. Anne Frank 
I guess is a girl after my own heart, sort of. She was such an amazing, amazing person. And I just really like reading her diary, just getting into her mind. It's such an interesting concept for me. As sad as it ended up being, of course. The last book is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I don't think I need to explain this one. I actually liked the book a lot more than I liked the movie. But I felt like Coraline in the movie was bratty and I didn't like her. Coraline in the book I loved and the book is actually super duper creepy. If you want to be creeped out a little bit and kind of like, what the hell just happened? Read Coraline. For my honorable mention, The Umbrella Academy! by Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance and Gabriel Ba, I'm going to guess. I actually I have both of them, but this one is the first and my favorite. It's just so beautiful, like, it's so well done. And I was a My Chemical Romance fangirl all through high school, I will admit. When I found out that Gerard Way, the singer, had a graphic novel out, I was like, oh my god, I need to get this, this is so amazing, Gerard Way is a god. It's actually really well done, and the story is really cool, and actually on my door, like, I still have the Umbrella Academy crest on my door that I put there years and years ago, and it's still there, and it should probably take it down at some point, but, eh, it can stay for now. There you have it. Those are my favorites. I pulled them all off my shelf to show you. Yeah, you can kind of get a feel for the types of books I like to read from this video, I think. If you want to see more or if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to making my next video. I look forward to responding to you guys' comments. I look forward to every aspect of this booktube community. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!